Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. It seems like we only catch glimpses of them, owls, hawks, and other birds of prey, but these fascinating creatures play a vital role in nature. Come with us to the Carolina Raptor Center in Huntersville to see how this living museum rescues these birds and uses them to teach us. That was the sound of the American bald eagle. And you can come see this magnificent bird up close at the Carolina Raptor Center in Huntersville. The Raptor Center has one of the country's most extensive collections of birds of prey, nestled on about 57 acres of pine oak forest in the middle of Latta Plantation Nature Preserve. The center's mission is to connect you to the nature of these birds. We're all things birds, uh, particularly raptors, and we like to say that we're making the connection between the human and the raptor by giving them folks an opportunity to come out and see these beautiful birds up close, personal, uh, where they may see them in the wild, but not anything like we're able to do here. Again, you may hear that owl in your neighborhood. Uh, you may see that hawk as you're flying down the road. Vultures particularly, people know what they are. They probably dodge them in their cars, but they don't know how important they are. And so really seeing them up close and just the beauty. I mean, to see a great horned owl and to see the coloration and how gorgeous they are, you'd never see that anywhere else out in the wild. And it, it creates a love and a, and a passion when people can see them that close. So you might be thinking, what is a raptor? Is it maybe an owl, osprey, or vulture? Well, a great way to answer that question and more might be to take in one of the educational programs throughout the weekend, like the flight show or the live bird presentation. I bet after one of these shows, you'll know a raptor is a bird with a curved beak, larger talons, and great eyesight. This is a type of owl called a barred owl. And these guys get their name because she's got those bars or stripes of brown going down her stomach and her chest. And barred owls are the most common owls we have in this area. And the main reason for that is these guys really like to live near water. So they're going to eat things like mice and rats, but they also like to eat a lot of stuff that lives in lakes or streams or ponds. So barred owls will also hunt things like fish or snakes or crayfish or frogs or even turtles. It's time to take flight to the trail, the Raptor Trail. The Raptor Trail provides you an up-close experience of 25 different species of raptors, like the peregrine falcon, the world's fastest bird. Setting out and just walking the Raptor Trail, I think, is the best way to get the full experience of the Raptor Trail. It takes about 45 minutes, and it's about three quarters of a mile. You can go at your own pace, and you can see um, any of our almost a hundred different species and different birds that we have out here for you to look at and read the plaques and, and learn a little bit about what each bird is, um, is here for and what they are native to. The Raptor Center is not only about conservation, it's also about rehabilitation of injured birds. With one of the largest raptor medical centers in the country on site, they'll see almost a thousand injured birds a year. Their goal is to provide care and rehabilitation with hope of releasing them back into nature. Here's a picture of her. This is an x-ray of her laying on her back, and you can see that her left um, upper arm has a fracture there. That's the normal side. This is the fracture. This is what we call a long oblique fracture. The, the bone ends are really long, like knife-like, and they're, they're, they can cut through the skin and cause all kinds of damage. So we need to repair this, and we need to do it right away. So this bird's been here for 57 days. She had surgery the day after intake. We usually triage them, stabilize them for about a day, then we get them on the table as soon as we can. So this is the red-tailed hawk that we were just discussing. Um, we were looking at her radiograph, which is an x-ray. She has a fracture of her left upper uh, arm or wing, which is the humerus bone. And she's now in this cage where she's just cage resting. All of her implants have been removed. We'll probably keep her in here for another week, and then we're going to move her to a flight cage and actually start to push her and see what she can do. We do hope that she can um, return to flight. We do anticipate that she will, but at this point it's still a little bit too early to tell. So if you're looking to get out and be part of nature again, then head on over to the Carolina Raptor Center and enjoy these amazing birds. In Huntersville for North Carolina Weekend. The Carolina Raptor Center is at 6000 Sample Road in Huntersville, and they're open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sundays from noon to 5. For more information, give them a call at 704-875-6521 or check them out online at carolinaraptorcenter.org.